Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Dean Curtis, and I'm excited to be here for another uh, webinar. Um, we're going to start by showing you a video while a few other people come into the group. This video was an interview that we had with both Lynn and Dean, myself, uh, by an intern about uh, three months ago. So we'd like to have you see this while other people sign up. The ultimate goal of Interweave is uh, that millions of people will have higher um, incomes, better homes, and improved communities. The, the best way to help someone in need is to help them find ways to help themselves. And if you can enable them to learn the skills and principles along with to gain the confidence and motivation they need to to recognize that they can solve their problems, then yeah. you've made a difference yeah. and you've really changed a life. If you just give them something, it's a temporary help. But if you enable them to help themselves, then the change is permanent. And yet, when you teach a man a fish, it's uh, two fish, it's a lot more difficult. It's easier to give them the fish. But to teach a person self-reliance means you're gonna rub shoulders with them. Well, we have a mission statement that speaks of moving people from poverty to prosperity through neighborhood self-reliance groups. They'll hear about it by either Facebook or a friend or somebody. They hear about it. They contact uh, and or are invited to attend their first self-reliance workshop. They attend it. They like it. They sign up for it. Uh, they attend the 12 uh, like formal the settings, uh, classes. And during that time, they... Um, uh, formalize their business into six P's. They know what uh, they have a plan for their business. They know what the product is. Uh, they know the processes they're going to develop, the pricing, the promotion, and the paperwork. They do it with their neighbors and their friends. They help each other. They Those teach each paid, other. They learn together. They ask questions. And they become a kind of mini chamber of commerce. They also will serve a community. They actually do community service project. And they'll set uh, goals in eight areas of their life. And they'll implement it. When that happens, people will, it's a transformative a lot. I mean, the first time some people have actually served in the community or uh, they quit smoking or we've had several now, I, I quit drinking because I set the goal and my group holds me accountable. If we can enable them to identify and articulate what it is they want to do and own that, then they're motivated. And then it isn't a matter of what are we going to give them or how much money they need from us. It's a matter of what can I do and how will you help me. And they're on fire. They're excited. And they'll start businesses. They'll learn to read and write. They'll do all sorts of things. But they won't do it the way that you may think they should, you know, that I might plan on. They'll do it in the sequence that makes sense to them. Because I'm leaving. We'll do this training or whatever and we're gone. But they're the ones who have to create the real solutions. They do the real work. Then they graduate, they're excited, they've got a network of friends. The ideal situation is that that group would keep meeting uh, once a month or once every other week and set, continue to set goals. Some have gone for years now, just helping each other become more self-reliant. But the ideal path is for some one or two talented ones then to say, I'd like to do more, I'd like to help, help other people go through what I just went through. And then they would take a self-reliance course, or excuse me, a um, success ambassador course, and then they would organize another group and keep it going. This is Sophia. I took her picture, this picture, eight years ago in Quito, Ecuador. Uh, her husband left her. He just abandoned her, and she had two children. She'd not been to school. She had no work experience, no idea what she would do. She joined a local neighborhood self-reliance group. It was an interweave group, and they introduced her to the six P's of business. One of the first things they told her, though, is that you've, you're worthy to succeed, and that was, that was a really important concept for her, and she felt their support, their love, their, their concern, and she wanted to learn. She said, well, all right. The P's, of what's the first one? Product. I have no idea. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to sell or what I'm going to do. But her daughter pointed out that my mom knows how to sew. And she said, yeah, but I don't have a sewing machine. And they encouraged her. And she said, you could maybe borrow one. So she said, OK, well, I can sew. And they said, then speaking of product, what sells? And she thought, you know, I go to the marketplace, and people have 
They sell sheets, bed sheets, but none of them have patterns for kids. So she bought some fabric that, as you see here, that had Superman, SpongeBob, Cinderella, and she made sheets and they sold immediately. Uh, it was really a winner. She kept selling as many sheets as she could on her borrowed sewing machine, and she said, wow, if I had my own sewing machine, I could sell everything I could make, but I don't have one. And she thought, I'm gonna get a loan. And then she checked out you know, getting a loan and found out, wow, it, she did her paperwork, that's another one of the P's, she found that if she got a loan, she couldn't pay it back and she'd go out of business. And so with that paperwork in mind, she saved up enough in four months, then combined that with a loan that was smaller and she was able to produce more and sell more and pay off her loan. And now here it is eight years later um, she has her own business here that she runs, but she has five employees. She has her own truck for deliveries and a, a, where, a, a workshop where she, she and her many employees and three sewing machines are all able to create and sell the materials. She's also the head of the Women's Self-Reliance Group, and so she's giving back. And all of those came about because she participated in the group and moved from poverty to prosperity. Oh, he was just saying, I'm not seeing a presentation, but I would... Well, if there's one thing that I'd communicate with the people here right is think about self-reliance as you're giving. Be generous. Uh, uh, want to help other people, but try to do it in a way that builds their esteem, builds their confidence, builds their, their knowledge, become self-reliant. We can reach so many people for such a very small amount of money because we don't have to give them a lot of things. It's helping them gain the, the knowledge and the confidence to, to solve you their made own it for problems. School. <laughs> we had interweave have, have figured out a way and we'd invite anyone to help participate with us. But no matter who you join or help, think self-reliance. <laughs> when we talk about moving from poverty to prosperity, well, it's an abundant so life in all kinds of ways, Why home, you, like, business, and community. And that's, that's our definition, that's our goal of self-reliance. So our goal would be that there would be hundreds of thousands of success ambassadors worldwide that are helping millions of people uh, achieve those goals, those three goals, higher income, better homes, improved communities. And those groups will improve their own community, they'll set their own goals, they'll hold each other accountable, they give each other ideas, and hopefully it will have a, a major impact on, on reducing poverty. It's amazing. Right. Hello, everybody. It's great to see you. That video was done by a, a student here, and just explaining the whole involvement of Interweave Solutions, we wanted to share it with you. It's uh, just available to you on download if you'd like to, to see it. But anyway, it's great to see you, and welcome. Um, Things are a little bit different uh, this time than other times because of what's happening in the world. And so we're going to be having a little bit of different discussion. So during this, uh, during this webinar, we want you to do a lot of chatting. So please put a chat in that says I'm here and um, tell me as I'm talking while I'm writing, what is your government or area telling you to do about the coronavirus? How many of you have been restricted from leaving your house? Uh, what are your restrictions? Can you please put that into chat uh, right as we go? I want to introduce you to you, um, Bo. I don't think uh, you've ever been in a webinar, have you? Before? Nope, haven't. So this is Bo Bennett. <laughs> He's got a shrink. <laughs> this is Bo Bennett. He's going to be helping us with this webinar. He's replacing Claire, who's done it in times past. We appreciate you coming in. Bo is also the um, uh, director of Global Marketing, and will be uh, help, helping us with a webinar next week, April 1st, as we invite uh, your friends and people and acquaintances to tell them all about uh, the MBS program. So, Bo, thank you, uh -huh. and he'll be help monitoring the chat and adding uh, things as we go. So, thank you, and good to have you. Now, just like we start all of the uh, Interweave webinars, we want to start this webinar with uh, the uh, mission, vision, and values. So could you show the slide on the mission, vision, and values? And wherever you are, why don't you go ahead and stand up, and that'll give you some energy. And we'll stand up here, and we'll repeat uh, the mission, vision, and values together. And Bo will uh, join us, and Steve is here too. 
and Steve will join us as, as well. So first of all, the mission. Mission. We, we move, move people, people from, from poverty to prosperity, to prosperity through neighborhood self-reliance groups. Next, vision. Self-reliance groups transform the way the world fights poverty. Through these groups, millions of people will achieve higher income, better homes, and improved communities. And values? We believe in mutual respect for all, the power of groups, creating and sharing success stories, always improving, integrity, and do it now. Thank you. We're going to show one last slide on that later on, but we'll, uh, we'll do that later. I just want to uh, point out uh, those values that we have. Those values uh, should be, we should be seeing them all the time and sharing some stories of how those values are tied in. I just want to share a real quick one with the um, sharing success stories. Eve, who is working the groups in French, and they had a um, webinar this morning, they had a group, uh, they had a person who just started in uh, Ivory Coast, and he just talking about how he had taken the interview course and how it had changed his life and how he was so excited to share it with other people. He had apparently organized, rethought his business, and it had been very helpful to him. It was just kind of a, a light on and energy. It's always fun to hear those kinds of stories. So um, make sure you're sharing stories with each other in, in our WhatsApp group. Make sure you're sharing some stories of success and other uh, examples of the vision and of the mission and of the values that we have. Well, this uh, webinar is going to be a little bit different than the other webinars because we're going to be talking about the world that has changed in the past three weeks. Uh, since the pandemic occurred. And so um, I'm asking you, if you will, and, he, and um, Bo, do we have any responses of what uh, any of their countries have told them they need to do? Yeah, so we've got Nicolette. She just says movements are minimal. Um, just stay inside. Haiti says, John and, uh, John and Haiti says movements are minimal. People can't really observe the confinement here. Okay. Confinement too. So we got a couple. Yeah, those are the messages that we're hearing all over the all over the world here at Interweave, and that's kind of difficult uh, when you think of one of our values. One of our values is we believe in the power of groups, and when you get a group of people together, they can be help become self-reliant, and help become self-reliant is kind of uh, difficult if you can't get together in groups. And so I want to have a discussion today about what we can do during this time of coronavirus. I'd like to... Um, I'm going to share a few things that we've been hearing uh, from around the world or different people have been doing different things. And in the meantime, could I ask you what you're doing in your country, please put on chat, what you're doing in your country to spread the message of self-reliance, to share the MBS with the process that we're, we're facing with coronavirus. So while you're adding your chats to the chat, and then we'll share and just discuss, I wanted to share some of the suggestions that we've heard. I had a conversation with Diego Lisano. He's our language director in uh, Spanish speaking in most in Latin America. And he was telling me that most of their uh, countries are shut down. Movement is minimal, just like uh, Nicolette said. Um, movement is minimal, and a lot of the groups have shut down. And so um, here are some of the suggestions that we've, we've seen. One of them was uh, people who have books and are in the classes, they're in class two, uh, two, three, or four, and uh, all of a sudden their groups have had to shut down. They're doing a very active process through their WhatsApp group. They've got a WhatsApp group. They're communicating very regularly. They'll actually set a time when they'll say, okay, by next Tuesday you have to have lesson number five finished, and then we want to share, I want you to share what you did in those lessons and how you've been involved in it. So in that particular step where you have a group that has already started, they have a piece of paper, they can actually use their notebooks, and then they use, do, up, uh, do all their follow-up and what's up in a very constructive way or uh, organized way. So it's more than just, hey, how's it going and what's happening and what do we do about coronavirus? That's kind of what our WhatsApp is involved in right now. It's a very specific WhatsApp group for that particular group and they return and report. We have other people who have um, invited their friends to sign up for Talon LMS. 
which is uh, the interweave program online. They'll sign up for Talent LMS. And then we, on this side, uh, here at Central Office, we'll go ahead and read through those assignments and pass them on. But those, those folks are active, what we'll call success ambassador mentors. And those success ambassador mentors are actually, uh, did you take this class? Did you sign up for this goal? And they, um, they're having them take the Talent LMS course, but they're sending messages through WhatsApp and, uh, and Google Hangouts and other events. Are there any suggestions there that uh, anyone else has shared? You want to share with them? Um, not around um, other suggestions of um, regarding what they can do, but more around you know what their cities and countries have counseled as far as um, what to do with yeah, coronavirus. Um, Emmanuel in um, Ghana, um, he said, "There's a stay-at-home order by government. Churches and other gatherings are not allowed." till April 16th, all things being equal. Um, and then in Nicolette again, um, says government says to wear face masks, stay indoors as much as possible, and washing hands is seriously encouraged, which we encourage that too. Yeah, so everyone's encouraged. Yeah, that. a lot of that, so it's good. We, we have, um, we here in Utah, we don't have a stay at home mandate, but we have a guideline that we should only be in groups of uh, 10 people maximum. And so, um, we have to steer away from stores when they get crowded and, and that kind of thing. And so we've also been under control. But it's very difficult to have a group uh, if your government is saying, you know, don't have a group. And so this conversation now is how can we keep on helping people become self-reliant while at the same time respecting uh, the rules and laws and regulations that we've been asked to follow in uh, our particular governments. Uh, so we've made one suggestion then, if you're already in a group and now have to disband that group to keep following up through WhatsApp, have them fill out their notebooks that they already have. If they're just getting started, you've got a friend, you can invite them to Talent LMS, and that, that is the Interweave online program. And then be with them very carefully to follow uh, every step they're taking and truly become an active ambassador. Um, and let me know if there's any other suggestions that they come as we go. Excellent. Um, one of the areas that um, we have been working with here, and we'll be talking about this a little next week, is what do we do to help get people to be success ambassadors in countries where we currently are not? We've been working in, for example, to try to get ambassadors in Tanzania. and. Uh, the way we've been doing that is we've been inviting them to a funnel where they come through Facebook and they take a class, an online class, the Talent LMS class. And then we here at Interweave have been monitoring how well they go through that class. But we haven't really been giving what we call value added, not in a real way. So let me, Bo, let's just have a conversation. Tell me what do you think. Slide under here for a second. Tell us what you think, uh, what do we mean by value added? You know, there's, uh, what I think the value added is, what are you adding that's extra for you to charge a certain amount? So if you're giving the course to one person and, you know, doing face-to-face -face and uh, you have this going on, you want to charge a little bit more, what else are you going to add value to that to have that gap there? What else are you going to add so that that compensates for charging a little bit more? And I think that's what you're getting at right that's right is what else can we do to make that to make yeah. it more valuable so here's what's happening when we advertise for example in tanzania we're automatically asked the question well how much does the class cost online and uh, if we tell them a price uh that pr and we talk about that price then you as success ambassadors if you tell people hey go up and sign for talent lms and we tell them that same price and you have charged more then it looks like you're trying to cheat them because they could have taken the course for a lower price. And so the concept of value added is this, and I want to explain how it'll work. When we are uh, marketing, and Bo has been working uh, some funnel, we call it funnels, but ways to invite people in Tanzania and in other countries we have not, we are not in, uh, we will invite them to take the MBS course online. We here at Central Office will pass them through the course we will uh, communicate with them in a group WhatsApp, and we'll help them get along, keep keep them moving. 
and then they'll have to hand in their paperwork through my platform. If they hand in their paperwork, at that point we're charging them, in Africa we're charging them $30. If they don't pay the $30, they don't get the certificate. If And, and they got the knowledge, and we hope we've blessed them, and we hope we've helped them, but uh, they don't get their certificate, and they don't get to become a success ambassador. However, if they do pay the $30, then we would in turn um, give them the certificate, print them the certificate, and give them the opportunity to take the success ambassador course. Our goal in that case is that um, we have the success ambassadors in Tanzania. And that's what we've been trying to do. And tell us a little bit about how people about signing up and some of the progress. Yeah, so I mean, we've, we've done this in uh, Tanzania and also in French and Ivory Coast. And so we've tried it in, you know, multiple areas to try and get people like um, you, Emmanuel. Emmanuel in, in Ghana. In Ghana. Right? Yep. So welcome. It's uh, good to have you here. Emmanuel. Came to the funnel on Facebook. And uh, same thing with Dora in Ghana as well. So we're trying to, you know, get to Kenya, in this case, Tanzania. And, you know, we've had success. In Ivory Coast, we've had people go through the course and then actually pay to become success ambassadors. And we're always going, and I think you'll agree, we're always going to encourage you to teach the course face-to-face -face rather than online. But in this case, because of the coronavirus going on, we wanted to, you know, do this in a way that you guys can still become success ambassadors and still, you know, have that and still teach people because it's very important. And so in Tanzania, we've had people go through, and I think we've had a few people, you know, get get moving. And so that's our goal in that is to get them through the course, get them to pay, and then to take the success ambassador and get their certificate. Because I think that's our goal, right? That's is, right. Is to get success ambassadors where we're not around the around the world to bless their communities. That's right. The goal ultimately is to help more people move from poverty to prosperity through these neighborhood self reliance groups. And unfortunately, in this day of coronavirus, we can't use neighbor and self-reliance face-to-face groups. So we're now beginning to use uh, MBS self-reliance virtual groups. And so if you refer, and here, now I'll get to the point about value added. Yeah. If you refer a person just by name only and say, sign up for the Talent and LMS course, and we will, we at Central Office will take care of it, they'll get this much value added. But if you charge that person and you say, I'd like you to take an MBS course, and we're going to tell you all about the course. It, it is an online course, but we will be having virtual meetings every week. This model is what we did do in Mexico, where we had 20 success ambassadors, and we never saw them face to face. And what they did was they signed up for Talent LMS, but, and then they took the course. You but the success ambassador said, we will meet on Google Hangout every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And we will take turns talking about what we've learned from lesson one. And after the first or second lesson, they say, and Bo, you're responsible for lesson number three. So next week, instead of me teaching, Bo is going to teach it in Google Hangout. And the week after, uh, Nicole, you're going to teach it. And then the week after, Emmanuel, you're going to teach it. And everybody was actually involved every week in a Google Hangout, lesson by lesson by lesson. And in that way, they were able to get through the MBS course. And talk about value added. It is so much better than what we're doing just in a funnel. Because uh, in the funnel, what we're doing uh, in Tanzania, for example, is we are we're helping them along. We put them in group WhatsApps, but we're doing this all in countries all over the world. And so we don't have time or, or uh, get to know them to get to know them personally and have a group experience. And so the another idea of how to use Teach the MBS program is to actually say, we are in this time of crisis uh, teaching the MBS online. And what better way to use your time if you're stuck in the house anyway? to learn something, to learn how to become more self-reliant, to improve your business, your home, and community. So they would sign up for Talent LMS, but you would always say, but next Tuesday afternoon or next Wednesday morning, we will be meeting at 9 o'clock. You need to be there. 
Google Hangout or Zoom or what, uh, WhatsApp, whatever it might be, that you can have a group meeting and then they can all hold themselves accountable. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, Bo, can you check and see if, if any if there's any comments on, on what we're saying? Yeah, so I, I, I guess I wanted to say a few things. Yeah, please. I'll check that. Is, I'll check it. Yeah. yeah, this is a way for you guys to continue your business because we don't know when this whole coronavirus is going to end. But we want to make sure that you guys are still teaching and you guys, um, you know, continue to teach the MBS program and share it with your friends. So I know most of you guys are all on Facebook. Um, and so share it with your friends. Say, hey, take this course. We're going to meet once a week. I will be your instructor. This is the extra value that I'm going to add um, to that. We're going to meet week by week and just do it that way. It, it changes the, you know, meeting face to face and talking to people differently because you're actually just messaging them and you know who they are but still create the same feel as you would in face to face in a group in whatsapp and that will be a huge benefit um, to you guys as you guys i guess uh, innovate in this way um, and so i wrote a question on there how can we help people become self-reliant given this time so that's a that's a you know a pinned question so just you know, answer to that, um, and then we'll get there. So it's uh, this, this, way this, this is done. Jude, welcome. Um, yeah, Yusef is here too. Uh, we had some other suggestions. It does make sense, Nicolette. Thank you. Um, yeah, Jude, it's good to have you here. Uh, Yusef, welcome back. Right, it's good to have you here. Yeah. So what we're now dealing with is how can we be success ambassadors? in a place where you can't do self-reliance groups, in a situation where you can't do self-reliance groups. And what we've just suggested is probably, we think, the best way, where you really show the value added. Now, if you refer a person, just refer their name and say, um, you've got a friend someplace, but you don't have time to do weekly and add value, you can also send them to us, and we will go ahead and take them through what we call the funnel, take them through the MBS course and invite them to pay the $30. But if you refer them to us, we will charge $30. So if you're trying to charge more than that, it's going to look funny to you, if you if, to them, if you don't truly add value to your uh, courses. Uh, Eddie, there's another comment there. Yeah, Nicolette, you're, I liked your question. And she asked, how can we help people get self-reliant in this time um, into the social network groups and set dates for meetings? Like, how can we do that? Um, do you want to do anyone? We'll go first and then I'll add anything. Yeah, so, you know, you're, I know you guys are on Facebook and I know you guys can create a group or a page on there. Um, it's really just inviting people, messaging people, and having that same feel. You know, follow up with them. Say, hey, we're going to meet every week at this time. Um, and if, you know, if some people can't make it, you know, do what you can as an instructor, as a success investor, to meet with them separately, just as you would normally. Um, and then have that communication via WhatsApp or via any other technology, Zoom, Google Hangouts, stuff like that. But just create that group as if you would. So that's an excellent question. Um, we all are in, in new territory, right, with this coronavirus. So we're learning. Uh, what uh, Bolivia has done with their Facebook is they'll actually set a time and they'll say, um, in the month of now, we are in the mid uh, April, so we say uh, March 15th, I am starting a new group. Uh, this will be a group. Now, they have done it where you come to a place. But on March 15th, I will be starting a new group. And uh, it will be online. Uh, if you're interested, send, send emails. And you start the conversation going like Bo just discussed. Get them ready to sign up for a new group that starts on April 15th. And then send, the, uh, in order to come, uh, you talk about the pricing that you're going to do, and then uh, on March 15th or the date you started, uh, you have them all in a Google Hangout. And you can actually say, we would normally do this face-to-face, -face, but here you are, and welcome, and it's smart to take advantage of being in, in uh, when I say March 15th, April 15th, of being uh, stuck in your, in your house. And then, but that's how you accrue. You set a date a month in advance or three weeks in advance, and then you do all the social networking you can, your WhatsApps you can, and bring them along. Now, if 
Now the question always comes, how much will this cost? And right now we're finding probably the best way to, to do it, although you can do your own pricing if you're going to do your own value added. But the best way we found is take the first four or five classes free. You can even take the whole class for free, but you have to pay for the certificate. Uh, but get them involved. If you do a lot of fight up front, I need your money now, I need your money now, they often don't get committed into the process. But if you can give them the vision of what it takes to become a success of that, or at least a, to get their MBS certificate, and their certificate will cost the 30 or 50 or $80, and then give them the value, they'll pay at the end. You always gamble that way because you could teach them everything and they could walk, and they would not get their certificate, and they would get your knowledge. Now, from our perspective, I'm comfortable with that because they learned. But from your perspective, you might not have got the money you want. But anyway, that's one idea. Set a date in advance, start inviting people to come. Any other comments that we need to come? Um, no, that was a great question by Nick Lentz. So yeah, of course. Thank you. Now, let me just show you, as you're thinking about this or any other questions about uh, using the Internet, or please, all of us all over the world are asking the same question. How can we get these MBS program going. So please send us through WhatsApp and in our WhatsApp discussion, uh, uh, please share ideas on suggestions on how to teach the MBS during this time of crisis. I do want to show you how or one other thing. I'm going to change the topic just for the final few minutes of this webinar and show those who are new and just review with everyone the resources that you do have at your disposal at interweavesolutions.org. And so, Bo, could you uh, take us, excuse me, could you take us to the Interweave Solutions page? This is uh, Interweave Solutions. Can you uh, take us back to, yeah, uh, homepage? So if you come into interweavesolutions.org, you're going to arrive here at this homepage. And in the homepage, you've got all kinds of resources. Bo has been good enough to update uh, the countries. Uh, so here we are here. He's, uh, he's uh, updated the countries. Just point to the countries if you want. Oh, uh, well, Emmanuel had uh, the the courage to tell us today we're missing Ghana here, so we are actually updated that for Emmanuel. So good. So Emmanuel's there. name is in Ghana or under Ghana now. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there we are. He's on there. Uh, if you check on the countries, your name should be on there as well. So you can get there in several ways. We want you to send success stories under your name because some of these uh, countries, they're there, but there's not much action going on. And the only way we can get action is if you'll share your stories. A picture of somebody and a success story could be very helpful. Can you just quickly show them Ecuador? We'll pick one. I just know Ecuador is. Uh, so they have sent uh, stories periodically. Uh, these stories of success stories around uh, Ecuador and what they've been doing. This is the kind of thing that we want in all of your pages. Also, you have all of the ambassadors in Ecuador. And here above, as you keep on going right there, are the statistics of the impact of the MBS course in Ecuador. And so when you're marketing and explaining this to someone, if this sheet is up to date, uh, you can actually go to the website, an international website, and show them the work you're doing in in uh, Nigeria or wherever it might be. This data that you're looking at here, it comes from the information on my platform. So those, are, this is a little bit about the resources. If you go back to the homepage again, uh, homepage, from homepage you have the menu on top and then I wanna go to resources. And the resources, you can go down to success ambassador resources. And there normally you can get in this one, if it's a password and the password is interweave. Uh, with a little I, it's not a capital I, interweave. And here, under Success Ambassador Resources, we want to show you just some of the resources we have here. If you'll go to, well, let's go to both of them. Go to this one real quickly. Uh, resources for Facilitating. Under Resources for Facilitating, you have all of the manuals. And here we'll be adding manuals. Uh, we're going to be adding the MBS Junior Manual, or, or has it already been added, Steve? Click on it and see if we've already... Uh, added. We've got the instructor manual, we've got the participant manual, uh, we've got ABC no. literacy manuals, Nine. success ambassador guides, all the manuals that you'll need, and uh, we have, uh, there's the MBS junior manual, 
and you can start teaching MBS Junior for participant and facilitator. It's there. You can start reading it. It's written for teenagers. Uh, and so you can easily start marketing that to schools when schools start meeting again. So those are some of the resources. Uh, here you also have all the presentations and slideshows. And then here is just some uh, uh, course videos. Where, uh, in, throughout your entire MBS, all of the course videos that we refer to. Now, if you go to the other section in resources right here, resources for marketing, your MBS business. We're also making uh, marketing videos, contracts, proposals. If you'll go to marketing videos, uh, and you need to check this periodically because we've just created another video and it's only last, this one lasts about a minute and a half. Bo has been able to coordinate that. And I want, Bo, if you would show that, uh, that latest video. Now, now that is an example of a resource you could maybe send virtually. You could put that on your WhatsApp, on your Facebook, and uh, share with your friends. Hey, I'm going to be starting a group on April 15th. It's an MBS group. Uh, we'll be doing it. The first lesson is for free, and you can use these kind of marketing materials. We also have the uh, material, the one on you can be a success ambassador. The one with my, with me talking here. That's about a two or three minute explanation of the history of Interweave. And it says that you, as the person showing that video, uh, are, uh, ha you have uh, prepared yourself to be a success ambassador. So I invite you to use those resources. Now, if you just go back one more time on the resources, uh, again, we're trying to think of how to market in a digital age when we have to do it uh, uh, through the internet. And those videos can be a helpful way for you to do that. We also have marketing materials that you can use. And once you approach people, the marketing materials, you'll have uh, name tags, business cards, pamphlets. That's more for the face-to-face. -face. But again, we have the material to help give you credibility. Well, uh, if you'll just go back to the main interweave uh, page again, hmm. and then we'll just finish this up. Um, this one? Yeah, the main interweave uh, yeah, the homepage. Yes, that website. Now, this homepage, just kind of in summary, you'll notice it's in English and it's also in uh, French, Portuguese, Spanish. And uh, you'll also, if you'll go on those one or more tabs there, uh, the countries we showed you, the missions and values, this gives them an opportunity. You can refer them to the website if you want to build credibility that you are a success ambassador and help them find your name on your country. And that will be another way that you can uh, market virtually by referring people to the website. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and finish it up. 
Well, is there any more comments that we should be aware of before we uh, finish? Maybe you could share there. Or we need to. Um, yeah. Um, a person said, I have talked about MBS to a friend working in an NGO. It's called Compassion International. They are involved in a training group of vulnerable women and children. They are interested and would like to take the course. I'm going to charge my own price. So how do I pay Interweave Solutions if they are following the online courses? That's a great question. That is a great question. And this is the answer we're going to do. If, if they follow... If they follow the um, online course and we are the ones that mentor them, you do not have any value added. In other words, you just refer their names, then we'll go ahead and teach them. And if you, if they pay you a, a, a set of money, you know, an amount of money, we will come at the end of that course. And those who, who actually finished, I don't know how you'll charge them. That'll be the difference here. But if you do not add any value, but have referred them and uh, referred them to get along, then we can help share some of that the price. I am even comfortable to help you have most of that money. But um, if we do the work here, you would then share us, share with us, or uh, Western Union some of that money to us. However, if you do the work. Uh, do the value added, you would keep all the money. You can use our material for free, but you'd need to do the value added. We could maybe even, as you work with them, we're working on this, have you become the instructor in the online course is a possibility that we're working on right now. So uh, you use the online course, you would get the money unless you don't add any value added. Does that make sense? Any other questions? Yeah, so uh, I add to that. There was one other question that I'm going to answer just because it has to do with uh, submitting su success stories, Nick, that you asked. So she asked, how do we upload our success stories Because um, in my country as a success ambassador? So the best way to do that is honestly just email us at team at interviewsolutions.org. Um, or you can uh, upload them to my platform, you know, as they go through, as that person goes through the course. You can upload them there. Um, if you are to email them to us, just put what country you're in and who's sending it. And then we can just go ahead and upload it to the website directly. So again, great question. We're always encouraging success stories. Um, it's always nice to have a picture with a success story. Yeah. It just gives it a lot more energy. Yeah. yeah, so if you send a success story, send a picture with it of the activity or you know what's going on or the person, because it, it does build that credibility. Right, uh, and then we can upload it and tag it to that country. Um, all we're always going to encourage more and more success stories from from the field because we lo one we love hearing and sharing success stories. I mean that's it's part of our values, um, but we love reading them. Um, you know, here at the office, we're not only field and see that day in and day out. You guys training and the hard work, but we value it and we appreciate it, and so we love reading those success stories. So, again, great question, uh, Nicola. Okay, yeah. So if if you are excited and, and like, um, who is that? Because because uh, uh, Koto Koto Tosu. Where are you from, Koto Tosu? Where? Um, that's a new name for me. So, uh, excellent question on this. If you have a group, I want you to start communicating through Team and Interview Solutions, talking to Bo about. Uh, how they're going to be signing up and so on, because he's in charge of the entrance into the Talon LMS. And then we can work out a way that you can receive the funding if we're convinced that you're adding value other than just sending the sending the name. So let's work together to help that NGO uh, train virtually. Oh, it's from Togo. From awesome. Togo. Oh, good. I was expecting French in Togo. <laughs> Don't they speak French in Togo? Thank you for attending in English. That's, that's great. Well, anyway, it's a great idea. And... Uh, I think we're good. Is there anything else, Steve? Is there anything else we very missed? Some success ambassadors are meeting one-on-one -on -one with participants or in very small groups. That is true. In, in uh, a, um, South America, in our conversation today with Diego, he said that there's uh, uh, some groups that are meeting two and three in a home. And so that's a possibility as well. Anyway, keep the vision going. Keep the fire going. Uh, we look forward to having a uh, an exciting MBS um, marketing meeting, seminar, webinar 
April 1st. In that webinar, we are going to talk about taking the course through us, and we'll be mentioning the price of $30. And so if you have some friends that you are going to try to charge more than that, you'll need to explain them why you are adding value, or you might not want to have them come to this particular uh, webinar, because we'll be talking about charging $30 and going through the funnel. We'll also explain that your their success ambassadors are offering a much better experience at the price that they might be charging. So just so that you're aware of, that's what will happen in that webinar. Well, if there's not anything more, we want you to uh, uh, be success, successful, be healthy, be safe. We'll keep our virtual conversations going during this crazy time. Thank you so much for being excellent success ambassadors and for attending this workshop.